Hello friends, uh, good to be here with you again. I've been mindful this week particularly, and you would have seen perhaps in the news that uh, uh, there was uh, something of a, a challenge that was posed by some uh, regulations that came in that we weren't aware of in terms of the visiting of the sick and the dying and the providing of the sacramental care. Absolutely profoundly important for our people that they are able to, that you are able to receive, those of you who are um, seriously unwell and, and perhaps dying, that might, in your family, might receive the sacramental love uh, of the Lord at, at that particular time. Thankfully, we'll, the government was very, very quick in uh, responding and made sure things were changed and those permissions and are back in place now. But it did prompt me to think that I might share with you what I'm doing in the background uh, in terms of uh, making sure that uh, the needs, your needs as God's people are, are being um, attended to in, in this uh, lockdown period. There's one principle that I've been working with the government on uh, throughout this now six months, and that is consistency and fairness. Whatever decisions are made for the good of all people, that there will be consistency and fairness about how they are applied to us people of faith, us Christians and Catholics. And so uh, that has been something that I've been working with with my own uh, staff uh, in both the Premier's office and in uh, the other uh, authorities. And, and that, I, I should say, has been a principle that has been sustained through this time and I hope will continue to do so. Two other things I'm working on with the government at the moment in the, the particular uh, roadmap stages that have been developed, I want to see if we can get some movement in terms of when uh, uh, the outdoor spaces regulations are put in place that we might be able to have something in our, in our, uh, in our sites, you know, in parishes and here at the cathedral where outdoor um, mass might be opened. I can't promise you anything at this, this stage. It's a, it's a work in progress with the government, but hopefully we might be able to get there uh, and that, that might be possible in small numbers initially. Something else I've been working on with the government is uh, a concern that I've had, uh, particularly for our, our young children and them not being able to receive their sacraments of initiation. Reconciliation, Holy Communion, Confirmation. So it's now six months since that, uh, and we would normally be winding up our confirmation season for the year, and none of our children have been confirmed this year. So I've been working also with the government to see if there's a way in which we can, um, if schools are allowed to open up again, if so, if our children are back at schools, then whether we might be able to uh, celebrate the sacraments of initiation within that context. Certainly not ideal, recognise all of that. Uh, but uh, we, I really do want to find ways in which uh, the sacramental life of the church can be uh, uh, opened up again uh, as soon as, as is possible. Finally, uh, if you do have someone in your family who is sick and dying, please uh, get in touch with your local priest uh, and, uh, and invite him to come to be able to offer the the sacramental uh, care of, uh, of Jesus Christ, sacramental care of the church uh, uh, to uh, your loved ones uh, at this time. It's allowable again, thanks be to God, uh, and I just want to encourage you to find ways. I will note that not all hospitals or care facilities are open in that regard, in that each place has to have its own rules and regulations, and we've got to fit in with that. Um, but as best as possible, this should be made available uh, to uh, uh, you at this time. Once again, I offer my prayer for you, particularly mindful of families, uh, the ongoing struggle of, of trying to balance work at home. If you haven't got work anymore, the, the, the great burden that, that you're carrying is that of trying to work with your children and keeping them healthy and happy. Uh, all of these things I'm, I'm, I'm particularly mindful of the moment uh, and uh, 
once again offer you my prayer and uh, closeness and just to assure you that I'm doing in the background what can be done to uh, move towards an opening up again of our uh, sacramental life here in the Archdiocese. Go well, my blessings and prayers to you all.